Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show and I've got Hugo here. Hello. Today we are doing a Via Ferrata, which is funny because, well, we're climbers. Yeah. I, I did one Via Ferrata ever. I've never done a Via Ferrata. Never done one? Nope. Okay, so Camp Cassin have very kindly given us a load of gear, including these Kinetic Via Ferrata kits. I've got the Kinetic Pro that we sell on the Epic TV shop and you've got the... Kinetic. Kinetic. It's all about the size of these bad boys. We'll talk about that in a sec. So we are at San Gervais Via Ferrata and this is a toughie. This is like the hardest Via Ferrata grades that you can do for Via Ferrata almost, I think. The diff. Yeah, Via Ferrata. I don't know, I don't know. But we're gonna test this, we're gonna climb on it. Flo behind the camera's gonna get some shots and it's gonna be a good afternoon. Now this Via Ferrata follows a gorge and a very loud river all the way to the top, so apologies if audio is a little bit dodgy. Why are we testing kit today? Well, because the better your Via Ferrata kit, the easier it is to use, the more fun you have on the rock. Faffing around with weird carabiners and not stretchy enough stuff really ruins your experience. So I'm hoping that this setup from camp is gonna do the business. Now there are many ways to protect a Via Ferrata and if you're with a group or you're with people who are less experienced or less confident, using a rope is a very good idea because you really don't want to fall off any bit of a Via Ferrata, no matter how safe the kit is because there's a lot of metal and bits to hit on the way down. Okay, so I've come to a little point where the wire goes into a bolt that's into the wall. Making sure that I've always got two points in on this one wire, I unclip one of them Clip it in here, so I've still got my two points, one on the lower one, one on the upper one. Once the upper one's in, I then remove the lower one, clip it into here, and off I go into the next section. There are some sections where it's a good idea to have one on both sides if it's a tricky little weird traverse, but for this section going straight across, that's how you do it. but this is starting to get steep. It's like climbing with really big holes. It's like my 5C project. So we're kind of halfway. Uh, we're on a path, one of the chill spots. I've taken my helmet off. You've. And to be honest, it's so comfortable. I forgot I had it on. Right. Let's talk. <laughs> let's talk about Via Ferrata kit. Uh, my carabinery jobby thing. It's yes. got a black thing you squeeze in, yeah. and then you push the metal with your thumb, and that opens it up. Right. Yeah. The joy of this is once it's clipped, and you're not pressing that black thing, the grey thing is solid. So if you fall it catches you. So you don't need to like unscrew it or do the magnet thing. Boom, 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 click, go. What, hap well, can I ask you, what happens if you fall? Because this is like quite stretchy. Yeah. And then what happens here? There's like a little bag here and stuff. What's okay. going on? So this is quite stretchy. Yeah. Probably would hold you. Yeah. But in the case of a... Probably would hold <laughs> probably. you. I don't, I don't know Via Ferrata. This would hold you. We did look for like videos of people fall falling on Via Ferrata. Don't Google it. <laughs> Honestly. Well, no videos. No, it's scary. Oh, anyway, okay. that's why you should use Via Ferrata kit, not slings. This thing here is, is a screamer. So the idea is that when there's a lot of force put through this, yeah. this bursts through the bottom of the box and just provides a little bit more dynamicness to the system. So it just kind of, so you know if you fall on a dynamic rope, it sort of stretches, 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 it takes all that force out. Yeah. That's the idea of a screamer, it just puts less force directly into this. So would you fall further than this? Like, so if you're like, if you fall, would that yeah. kind of come out of it? Well, this is the thing, if you took a really big fall, then yeah, this isn't that long in there. Yeah. It obviously prevents you. But as we said down there, you do, do not want to fall on Beer Bra. That's why you should protect it with ropes if you're going to fall, all that kind of stuff. 
The reason you shouldn't use slings is because you shock load the slings. And there are some genuinely terrifying videos online about people shot loading slings and just falling. People really? have done tests with logs and stuff, it's scary. So do not use a sling, don't think it's funny. You may be a rock climber, but still, accidents can happen, you can slip off. It's super sweaty today can happen in a hobby. Buy proper Via Ferrata kit. I mean, you can always rent it, of course. Or rent Via Ferrata kit. You can always rent it, yeah. of course. I mean, it is quite nice to have your own kit, but you yeah. know, but it is best to rent stuff if you have to, if you, you know, if you have yeah. to. But buy it if you want to. I like having my own stuff. Yeah, that's the thing. It's quite nice having your own stuff. If you're, if you're going to become a Via a Ferrata adventurer. A pro? A pro. Look, or you get the Kinetic Pro. Do you think I could be sponsored? By Cam. Effectively, this video is. All right, so we've ditched the cameraman, Matt. How are you feeling? I am feeling good. That's exposed out there. Yeah, that, that was probably a little sketchy. Those little things there, when there's no yeah. bits underneath them. Some poo? A uh, little, no, a shot. A shot. <laughs> So we're on another little flat section uh, and now what's coming up is quite scary because there is a, a terrifying bridge traverse. But before we get to the terrifying bridge traverse, there's a little bit of uh, pumpy traversey stuff. You excited? I am excited, yeah. Uh, the floor of the cameraman who's an experienced Fear Ferrata says this is the pumpy section. Where is the cameraman right now? He's over there. You can't see him, but he's over there. There he is! Hey! I'm feeling good, mate. I'm on rock. I'm happy, boy. I'm very sweaty. Yeah. You get this sweaty when you go climbing? No. What do you think the difference is? The difference is I don't understand metal. <laughs> Why am I holding on to metal? coming up Woo. that felt cruxy that was hard wasn't it <laughs> that was super hard Woo. i had to have a few rests but uh yeah it was good how'd you find that pumpy <laughs> really pumpy <laughs> surprisingly pumpy <laughs> and so sweaty, sweaty. <laughs> oh, no. How outrageous is that? That's pumpy. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's pumpy. I'm sweating. Yeah, you're good. Good done. See you later, man. See you later, bud. This is a bit that personally I find quite scary. It's like very long. And the further into it you go, the more it starts to dip and bend, and it's pretty frightening. That 
middle section, quite bouncy. Honestly, it's quite scary. Like, I know it shouldn't be, I know you clipped on and all that, but when else do you walk that high up the ground with a wire on your feet? Never. Yeah, man. Solid as a rock. <laughs> nice. I think I clipped it wrong. I think Hugo clipped it better than me. So if I've made a mistake, I know you'll leave a comment and I apologize, but I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm alive! Yes! All right. We are in no way experts. Your first go. Yep. My second go, first time I did it the naughty way. Never do it the naughty way. Always use Via Ferrari kit. What did you think of this? Because this is my first time properly using it and I like, well, I like the stretchiness. I like the stretchiness. I think there's a couple of things that I didn't really know were useful until, until about halfway. Mm. One of them was, so like you're kind of going through, you're clipping, clipping on, uh, and sometimes the thing doesn't come up with you, it doesn't come up, yeah. so you get left behind. Because it stretches down, you're there, and it's yeah. up there. Yeah, and there's yeah. some moments when you're quite sketchy, and you're like, yeah. you know what I mean? But what, what's quite good is, is, is as soon as you clip that to the next one, this one kind of comes up with it, because it's springy, mm -hmm. and it makes that next clip that much easier, yeah. which I think is kind of useful. Now, this is the Kinetic Pro, uh, the one we have on the shop. You've yep. got the Kinetic. Got the, kinetic. The, big, the big difference is really the carabiner here. So if you yep. hold it up, you can see there's a big old size difference. Now, I quite like the fact that I could just, this big old hole yeah. to wodge it in. Yeah, looks like a nice It, it was like very easy. I never had an issue with clipping this. Did you find yours caught occasionally or, or uh, okay? No, I, I thought this was absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, I, and to be honest, the action is so natural. You don't even realise that you have to push that to open it. You just do it anyway, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, We're well, just kind of squeezing in, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. You're just doing that, and so it, it just it, it is super, super good. I think having a big one would be super useful. Yeah, I think it's useful. The plastic also feels just that I would imagine a little nicer on your hand. Yeah. When you get sweaty, like we we did, uh, that might help. I've never reviewed a piece of kit that I of, of protection that I've never wanted to protect me. But I didn't I did not want to fall off of this and, and I see yeah because with the rope and quick draws you fall in it all the yeah, time. Yeah you're like that's part of the review. This I was like I want this guy to stay in there. Yes. Uh, absolutely. Even though I'm sure camp this is like totally bona fide and it would save yeah. my life. Yeah. But still I don't want to try. You don't want to try. No. So do some pull ups before you go on your next year for There we go, words of wisdom. Uh, there's a link in the description below if you want to check this out. Thanks for watching the gear show and I'll see you guys next week.